parents, kid fans, adult fans, Bill Nye the Science Guy is coming to Canada. Why is it that every disaster movie begins with someone in power ignoring a scientist? It's pretty hard to ignore Bill Nye, especially when he's serving up some serious moves like this on the runway. <laughs> I had a chance to speak with the legendary science educator about his fashion, his passion, and the new show that's bringing him to Canada. All right, you are coming to Canada with your show, The End is Nigh, which sounds a little ominous. Can you tell Canadians what they should expect? So we did six uh, disaster movies, one-hour disaster movies. A surprising thing to me. We had a pandemic. You probably heard about it. It was a big deal. Yes. <laughs> you might think intuitively that when there's a pandemic, when things are stressful and so on, people who are going to stream television would stream a romantic comedy or a, a, a video of a comedian being hilariously funny and so on. But it turns out that during these, this pandemic, people were streaming Contagion and Towering Inferno and all sorts mm -hmm. of other disaster movies. So like, give me more stress. So we made six one-hour shows, or about one hour. And in the first half, the disaster happens, everything is bad, things get worse, and then I get killed six times, actually seven <laughs> times I get killed. But then in the second half hour, I come back. How they will show you how everything can be great with what? With, with science. Science. Yes. And so uh, I will talk uh, about that. Bill, you mentioned that you were in uh, in Montreal. That's the sport coat, if I can point that out, that you bought that when oh, you were in the city of Montreal. Thing. That old thing. It looks fabulous on you, by the way. But I've got to ask you about another coat that people are more familiar with. And this is your lab coat, which I understand is in the National Museum of American History because of your role in educating people and teaching about science. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, so you guys, in the States, we have the Smithsonian. It's our mm -hmm. big national museum. We have 320 it's million science. people in the US and my lab coat is in the museum. And as I like to add, I'm not dead, which is really, <laughs> really amazing. The influence, and by the way, speaking of the influence of the old show, one of the best markets or biggest markets for the Science Guy show was TV Ontario. Not only are you Bill Nye the Science Guy, but you're also Bill Nye the Dancing Guy because not only are you rocking a lab coat and that coat from Montreal, but I've seen you now on the runway. You put this on your TikTok. You have some moves. Well, uh, I think that's good, but thank you. <laughs> I came of age in Washington, D.C. as disco was emerging. Certainly Motown ruled my high school class. I, I grew up with it, I guess is what I'm saying. But that clip I think you're talking about is from something called the Blue Jacket uh, Fashion Show. Right. It's a fundraiser for prostate cancer. And my dad had prostate cancer. He recovered from it, lived through it. Mm -hmm. But it is preventable now. The science of prostate cancer or treating prostate cancer is very well understood. And we want men to take it seriously and get tested and not die of prostate cancers. You have nearly 10 million followers on TikTok. All that is part of helping to do what you do, which is to spread your message. But 10 million on TikTok, that's impressive. In 1993, back in the 20th century. <laughs> the 1900s, as my kids call that. Yeah, we were making the show and we had a rule of thumb, a guideline, no bit to exceed 49 seconds. Now, that wasn't huh. literal. That was a guideline, not a rule. Watch yourself when you're in the dentist's office or physician's office. With There's magazines there that you might not subscribe to. But, oh, here's Golf Digest. Here's uh, <laughs> Parenting Today. Here's whatever. The heck. And just watch how fast you turn the pages. If it's not your thing, you do not stick with it for much more than a minute. This is human nature. So TikTok, as much as people run circles screaming about how it's destroying our youth, it is human nature to uh, digest things in those small bits like that. And so 
I'm loving the TikTok. Bill Nye, it was a real honor to speak with you today. Thanks for coming on and thanks for wearing your Montreal style. Thank you very much. Montreal. <laughs> for a full list of Bill Nye's Canadian tour dates, you can check out Center Stage Entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.